Uh, hey, what's up, guys? How you doing today? I'm doing like a little. What is it? Morning routine, and yeah, let's just start. I go to my, I go to sleep with my hair like in a ponytail, so don't mind this little like bang. Okay, here we go. So I'm just gonna sit the camera there, and you'll see my morning routine. And I know this is here. Gotta get my phone away. My phone is dead anyway. Okay. And as I'm going, I'm going to be saying the words instead of, like, um, yeah. <laughs> now let's start. In three, two, one. Uh, uh, mm, oh my God. Can I go back to sleep? Jeez. Uh, I have to get up. I don't wanna. Fine. Jeez. Well, can I do my hair? Oh, well, gotta get my comb and my brush. Okay, I got it. <laughs> nice. Just had to use a little magic. Well, do I want to bang? I don't know what I want today. I love fearing feeling the oil out of my hair. Actually, let's do the side like this. And then this time we do this. Gotta check my mirror. Nice. <laughs> my phone. I finally got a phone case. Uh, I got that yesterday. <sighs> ah, mom! Okay. Gotta fix my hair. Ugh, if I was going on a date, I would have been more excited than what I am right now. I'm feeling this side of my hair is better than the other side. Especially into tonight and into tomorrow. Normal flight operations for the most part today here in the New York City area, but boy, Chicago had delays and cancellations today. Okay. I did my hair, but should I do it more? Should I put it in ponytail? What should I do? Uh, well, I kind of already straightened it and combed it. Well, not straightened. 
But I actually need to brush it. This brush doesn't even hurt, so it doesn't matter. But I want to paint my nails! <laughs> Why am I being so fangirly today? I'm going to ask my mom for breakfast. Yeah, actually, for breakfast, I'm just going to push my hair back. Nice. Now let's get a little bang. Or should I? <gasps> oh, I know what I'm going to do. So inexpensive for the people, so inexpensive for for the country. I am going to take care of everybody. But the administration is already dismissing these numbers from the Congressional Budget Office, a nonpartisan agency whose job is to figure out what any new piece of legislation would cost. Health Secretary Tom Price, late today. We disagree strenuously uh, with, uh, with with. Now I've got my hair tie. The argues the Budget Office was wrong. On Let's put this. The last time they did it, they were wildly off. That enrollment estimate ended up off by 30%, partly because the Supreme Court like changed this. the expectation for expanding Medicaid coverage. Now we can do a bun. Independent analysts found of all the estimates out there, <sighs> Hopefully the budget this so. the ah! The Congressional Budget Office's only job in life is to get the numbers as close to accurate as they possibly can be. The numbers that matter most to the system include... No comeback. No, 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 yeah. This is the worst bun I've ever done. Well, now we gotta get my scarf. <laughs> I I'll use red. I mean, why not? NBC's Peter Alexander has the story. The White House tonight giving us a new wiggle room on the president's explosive wiretapping claim. He doesn't really think that President Obama went up and tapped his phone personally, but aides aren't ruling out that someone within the Obama administration didn't. Nine days after President Trump's original oh, well. case, still no proof and no answer. Wait. The president requested questions three times today. His press secretary revised the explanation, emphasizing Mr. Trump's use of wiretapping in quotes. He said they were in quotes. He was referring to surveillance overall. Can you say affirmatively that whenever the president says something, we can trust it to be real? If he's not joking, of course. Every time that he speaks authoritatively, he, that he speaks, he's that he's the president of the United States. Trump advisor Kellyanne Conway is clarifying her weakness. I just want to look good. We can surveil someone uh, certainly through their television sets. Uh, I just want to look good uh, to be always going to put my head out. She was discussing surveillance techniques in general, not the unsubstantiated claims. Ugh, why won't this go down? I don't believe people Oh, well. Mom, breakfast time. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Mmm, potatoes. My favorite. I love potatoes. If people don't know me, they don't know me about my potatoes. Mmm. This is good. Yeah. Gotta eat up. Being stopped and told, turn over your cell phone and your password. We get more tonight from our secret. Ooh, I want some donuts. Maybe later. It happened in early January at the Canadian border to Buffalo, uh. Akron Shibley, and Kelly McCormick. I spilled it on myself. Born in the USA. I'll clean that up later. Ugh. US Customs and Border Protection go to sleep. held them for two hours took their cell phones and demanded their passwords. They turned them over. Three days later, I they to go to once sleep. again drove 20 minutes from home to I'm so tired. But they were stopped. Even after doing my hair, everything this morning. One officer grabs me from behind, grabs me by the throat. This is good. I want to text my friend. But my phone's dead, and I don't even know what time it is. I know I can always check my tablet. Or my computer. Or my other computer. Or my dad's phone. Or my uncle's phone. Including an international airport allows the government to inspect your or your computer. No warrant needed. Just like they can look into your luggage. This is Only so that, whether you give them your good. or not, they can make a clone of what's on your device. Until recently, it was a power rarely used. Oh, I 